The Cherokee Nation's bison herd is growing. You all remember photojournalist Todd Ruffin and News on 6 anchor Craig Day went out to South Dakota last autumn to learn about a federal program that places surplus bison from national parks with Native American tribes. And what do you know, the Cherokee's new herd is thriving. It's been six months since a special delivery of bison from the Badlands of South Dakota came to Cherokee land in Delaware County. Now, even more deliveries are happening. You know, everything's greening up. It's springtime. Everything's having babies. The first baby bison was born on April 8th, weighing in at about 100 pounds or so. Since then, eight more bison calves have been born, and there will possibly be more. I can't help but smile and think that, you know, within a few years, what the numbers could be. The population of the herd could be 200 to 300 bison within a couple of years. I think that we're all proud. Chris Barnhart is in charge of caring for the Cherokee bison herd. Everybody's happy. You can't come out here at any day and not see people driving up and down the road trying to get a shot at them, a glimpse at them. But it's hard to get a glimpse of the baby bison right now. The animal's instincts to protect the youngest of the herd have them spending a lot of time in a wooded area which is quite a bit different than the canyons and high plains grasslands where the buffalo once roamed. But the female bison from the Badlands of South Dakota and 12 bulls from Teddy Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota are thriving. Well, probably they've all put on 100 to 150 pounds since we've gotten them here. Having the herd is meaningful to the Cherokee people because of the bison's cultural and historical significance to the tribe and other Native Americans. We hunted buffalo back before the removal and what was actually called the Appalachian buffalo now is extinct. It's always special when you can uh, revive a part of history. I mean, not only our history, but all the tribe's history. The Cherokee Nation will do genetic testing, blood work, and ear tagging on the new calves later this fall once new corrals are built to process the bison. Another 200 acres will open up at the first of next month to accommodate the growing bison herd. Craig Day, News on 6.